The question I'm really interested in this interested in at this point in time is what are you willing to do to get your weight off and to keep it off for the sake of your health over the course of your lifetime? Take a minute and really think about that. Write it down. What are you willing to do to take your weight off and to keep it off for a lifetime? Because the answer to that question is going to be something you're going to need to refer to over the next few months and the next few years when you need some motivation to keep on going with this. Okay, now I'm going to be doing most of the talking during, the, during this. In fact, I'm going to be doing all of the talking during this. You can talk back to me if you want, but I won't be able to hear you until we sit down and meet face to face. What we're going to talk about when you and I meet and what I want you to tell me about when we meet is I want to hear about your weight history. Have you always been heavy or have you not gained weight until you had your children? Have you not gained weight until your wife was such a fabulous cook, you had no choice? What is your weight history? What are the things that have made weight loss difficult for you in the past? What are the things that worked for you when you tried to lose weight in the past? What are the messages you got about yourself and about your weight? I get some interesting answers to that question. Some people were called horrible names by their family members when they were children. Some people were teased a lot at school. I want to know, what is your history related to your weight? What are the experiences you've had in your past that may have something to do with your weight in your present? This is something that a lot of people don't really think about. There may be things in your past that, you know, maybe there was some, some traumatic event, maybe there were some incidents of neglect or some kinds of abuse and you may or may not have an awareness that that's related to your weight in the present. It may or may not be, but those are some things that we're going to be talking about. What is your sense of self in relation to your weight? How do you view yourself? What are the current stressors going on in your life? We're going to talk about anything that's going on related to your weight that, that you feel like you want to tell me. And I'll probably try to dig some things out that maybe you haven't thought about, maybe you don't want to talk about, but it'll help you in the long run if you do. Okay, what I'll do after we talk is I'll tell you if I've heard anything that are red flags for your future. In other words, are there anything that you, is there anything that you've told me from your past that I think may keep the weight loss difficult for you in the future? And those are the things we're going to be talking about not only throughout, things I'll be talking about throughout this presentation, but things we'll talk about when we meet face to face. Patients are sometimes surprised by the really straightforward bottom line approach that I take when I talk with them. My reason for doing so is because I really want you to be prepared for what you're going to encounter during the days, weeks, months, and even years following your surgery. Again, I stress that point because right now you're focused on just what's immediately in front of you. But what you're embarking on is a lifelong change in the way you've been doing things. That's why I go straight to the bottom line. And the first straightforward bottom line message that I want to give you is this. Your weight loss procedure, whether it's the sleeve or the lap band or the bypass, does one thing and one thing only. I said this a few minutes earlier, but I'm going to say it again. It keeps you from overeating. You will be left with a very small pouch within which you get to put all of your food. That's all of that the surgery does. Let me tell you what it doesn't do. The surgery does not keep you from putting candy, cookies, chips, popcorn, or any of your favorite foods into your mouth. The surgery does not increase your desire to exercise. The surgery does not increase your willingness to write down everything that you put into your mouth. The surgery does not prevent you from craving certain foods. And the surgery does not prevent you from keeping that vehicle you're driving from going through a drive through which may be a habit that you have. So I want you to be aware that the surgery does one thing and one thing only. It keeps you from overfilling your stomach. Again, it will not help at holiday time. It won't help from keeping the holidays from happening. 
It won't keep your coworkers from wanting to go out to lunch every day. It won't keep your family members from bringing their favorite family recipes to family reunions. So, remember this. You do the work. The surgery does not do the work. If you choose after the surgery to graze or eat little bits all day long, or if you choose to eat the wrong things, then this surgery is nothing more than a very expensive diet. Remember, in the bottom line, weight loss is a mathematical equation. Your weight is a matter of the calories you take in versus the calories that you burn off. Okay, so my second very bottom line message for you is that you can gain weight back after the surgery. This is probably the most important thing that I can talk to you about and it's really my passion in doing this work with bariatric patients because it's just a tragedy if you go through all of this and you lose all that weight and then you gain it back. The fact that people do gain their weight back sometimes after having the surgery is pretty good evidence there are psychological issues that bear upon weight gain. So, let me make this point. Bariatric surgery will help you lose weight. It will not help you keep it off. Only you can do that. You wear the false sense of security that can develop shortly after the surgery. The fact is, you're going to lose weight in the first several months in up to that first year after you have the surgery without seeming to do a lot of effort. This can be really, really dangerous. It's that exact same time frame, those first months up to the year after you have your surgery that you've got to implement the good habits that will keep your weight off for a lifetime. Think about it. You go from eating however you currently eat to after the surgery, not having very much food for up to about a month. I mean, you have clear liquids and then some mushy food, but your calorie intake is going to drop considerably. So people are going to use, lose weight fairly easily after the surgery without very much effort. And I really encourage you not to get into that false sense of security. Okay, people are a little bit scared too, you know, after they have the surgery. They're afraid they're going to harm themselves physiologically. They're afraid that they're going to overdo it. They don't want to get sick. These kinds of things do result in immediate weight loss but you're going to have to do a lot more than that in the long term. All right? I have very minimal concerns about people losing weight following the surgery. However, I have a lot of concern about people not realizing that they can gain the weight back. And it does happen. Okay. For example, I've met with people who have come back six, eight, nine, ten months maybe two years after the surgery and they're upset if they say to me the surgery didn't work. Well barring any medical complications and they'll already have had that checked out, if there are no medical complications and they tell me the surgery didn't work, I tell them you're right the surgery doesn't work. You work or you don't. So what I ask them is a series of questions if they're following what they need to be doing after the surgery and most of the time they're not. They've gone back to old habits. And there's an old saying that goes like this. If you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. So if you go back to your old behaviors after the surgery, you will gain your weight back. Okay. Sometimes people tell me that their weight just crept back on. Now this is a tough one because when people tell me that, you know, I don't want to hurt their feelings, but the truth of the matter is weight doesn't just creep back on. That's a nice way for us to not to have to emotionally admit that we've done something to keep our weight off. In other words, we've done something to either eat more calories or quit exercising, but weight doesn't really creep back on. It's really something a person has to take responsibility for.